Hey guys, welcome back to Ernest Co Fishing. And as you can see by the condition of my boat, I'm at the end of the day. Uh, <laughs> I had a good day fishing today. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how good it was. But uh, it was a little dark this morning uh, when I got to the lake and it was a little bit too dark to film. So I went ahead and, and uh, didn't know how my day was gonna go here recently. My days on the water have not been good at all. But today I had a good day on the water. I'm out here at a lake that I have not fished in several years. I'm out here in the kayak, had an awesome day, and let me show you guys just exactly how good my day was. First fish on the new kayak. Come off the old tried and true spinnerbait. I'm excited about that. Let's get some more. Guys, that is two big blow-ups on this lizard keel weighted hook. I'm just dragging across those thicker pads. It's two big blow-ups. So what I'm gonna do, get this right now <coughs> on a very lightweight rig. This is my Ned rig rod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my heavy jig rod, uh, which has got like 17, 18 pound test, and drag those out because First two I got, this is only eight pound test, and I can't drag those out of these pads. So I'm gonna switch over to some heavier line. I don't have braid, but uh, we'll see if that's gonna work, so. There it is. Oh, good Lord. He attacked it. Well, folks, I never would've thought it'd been top water season uh, this early. But as you can see, I'm fishing a big lily pad field. And uh, the bass are super, super aggressive today. I'm thinking that these are just small males that are either making a bed or getting ready for the spawn. Still think it's a little early in the season, but uh, I mean, they are just exploding on this. And I have no frogs, no top waters of any kind with me uh, just because I thought it was a little too early in the season, but evidently not. So uh, the next time I come out here, definitely we'll have a frog of some sort uh, because I'm taking this uh, I'm taking this lizard here, you know, with that keel weight. Uh, I don't know if it's just a lizard or just the something disturbing them around, but uh, and they're just having you can I mean they're tracking from five to six feet away and just you know you can see like a shark after them. So um, I've had several blowups and hopefully I can catch them. Uh, cause this is fun. I tell you what, I'm having a ball today, so, uh, we're gonna get back at it and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get on one or two and, and get them in the boat, at least. So. Little bitty one. Do a little bitty bass. <laughs> Come here now, little, little sonny. KVD 
Yeah, these are aggressive males that I'm catching today. Or that are hitting. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm not a biologist. That's a little bitty sucker, but he is always fun. If it's just the day or the color or what, but uh, that old chatterbait's getting it done today, boy. <laughs> nice fish. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Well guys, as you can see, we had just an awesome day on the water today. Caught several fish. Just a fun way to fish today. Uh, didn't expect to catch them the way that I did. Um, I'm out here today, and this lake is just covered with lily pads. And I thought that maybe I could get on the outside where the deeper water was, maybe throw a spinnerbait this morning, maybe chatterbait. I, you know, I just didn't know for sure. A little bit more lily pads out here than I was really anticipating today. But uh, how I caught them today, as you guys can see, was on this lizard. Now what I was doing is just throwing it across the top of those lily pads and dragging it across. I was basically fishing this as a wake bait. Uh, I was going to fish this, I rigged this up last night, I was going to fish it really slow in some grass today. Figured that might be the ticket. That's how it's been here recently with fishing. But uh, I just kind of happened upon this. I threw it out through further than I wanted and was just coming back across the lily pads and this fish bust down on it. And I thought, well, man, that is really odd this time of year. Uh, the water's still a little bit cool, I believe. But we've had a few warming days, uh, so the fish are getting more active. Um, wasn't the bait that I planned on catching a lot of fish on today. I missed a lot of fish on this today, a lot of fish. I think if I would have had a frog, or something designed to be fished maybe a little bit slower in the lily pads. I would have had better hookups, maybe some braided line. Uh, all I've got on here is 17 pound 
um, fluorocarbon, which is good, but braid really cuts through everything. So uh, I will be bringing that on the next trip I come out here. But it, this was just a keel weighted hook a lizard. I threw a black and blue. I threw a um, green pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. I don't really think color mattered at all because I had a black and blue on earlier. I think it's just it's, it's a total reaction bite. Uh, I actually tried to throw a Cinco on here, but the Cinco kept dipping underneath the water, and this was uh, staying on top of the water with the legs and the tail and everything. Uh, or if I had a uh, probably a lighter weight weight, this is a eighth ounce. Uh, I wish I had like a sixteenth or something like that. It would have been probably better, but that's the way it goes. That's all I had on me. And the other bait that I caught a lot of fish on was a uh, chatterbait. Caught one this morning on a spinnerbait. The rest are caught on this chatterbait. This is, I think it's a half ounce actually. A little bit heavier than I probably was anticipating. But it was a uh, straight up reaction bite today. That's what it was. But uh, anyway guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, not the day I had expected, but it was a great day nonetheless. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm not done fishing. I'm going to go fish some more. If I catch a giant, I'll put it at the end here. But um, thank you guys for watching. I'm still learning on this kayak, and I'm still, every time I go out in it, I love it. I get more comfortable. I didn't flip this time. I didn't have even come close today. Uh, fingers crossed that I won't between here and the ramp. So... Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more fishing videos. In the next video, I may go back out on my boat. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about it today, but there's a couple of really big tournaments on Pickwick today, so that's why I didn't go out on my boat today. Or some more uh, midweek kayak and fishing trips after work. Uh, there's some of those to come for sure. But uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, like, share, comment. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. And uh, as always... I'll see you guys down the road.